Welcome everybody. I'm going to be doing um, uh, uh, some different videos now. These videos are not just going to go over the features. I'm going to go over my. You're going to, you're going to be watching over my shoulder how how I use Browsio, and um, I'm just going to start off from the basics, the very beginning, and we're going to go and um, get a fresh project up and running, and show you how to use the features of the browser. Okay, so this is the first thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to open up some accounts. And um, I'm not going to actually open up the accounts with you because that's just, I mean, we all know how to open up an account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new project. This project is going to be your persona. For example, let's say you're in the bodybuilding niche. So this will be, um, I tend to like to call these pr project names by the first and last name. So I could write Simon, Dadia, well, that's obviously it's not going to be me, but. But we'll just do that. Simon Dadia Muscle. Because I already have a Simon Dadia there as a project name, I'm sure. So the IP address, port, username. Um, you fill out whatever IPs you're using. Um, and then it's very straightforward from here. Simon Dadia phone number, whatever it is. 914-666-665-4444, whatever. May come up a number here that's not a real number. Username Simon D. Email Simon D at Gmail. Blah blah blah. And then whatever the password is. Okay, and then all this other information you know you want to fill out as well because this information is going to be used on sites. <coughs> on sites that you're going to be signing up to. What's going on? Okay, so um, so these are going to be going on sites that we're signing up to. So whatever the address is, and then we save as new. Okay, so I'll save that, and it'll come up over here. So when we save, the first place it goes is to here. Okay, so we've saved. <coughs> Excuse me. There it is, Simon Daddy Muscle. Now I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't need it, and we're not going to be using that. So after you would have signed up, um, to let's say Gmail or Facebook or let's just say Gmail because that's the place where generally I suggest everyone starts um, because all the email addresses all the email addresses they you know you require phone verification now if you're gonna wanna have them for longer than a week or so um, and Gmail you need for YouTube and Google Plus so you might as well just start off with an email that you can use across all of the platforms okay so Let's open up good old Alvin Hernandez. And then what we have the modules here, you guys know what the modules are from the actual training. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use the browser. Show you how we use it. So I want to go, oh, you know what? Sorry, let's not open up this because we're already signed in there. Okay, so let's go to another project here. Let's go, I haven't gotten to the end yet today. So let's go there. I'm sure I'm not signed, I'm sure I'm not logged in here. See? Okay. And then sign in. So, because this is Gmail, we don't have the automatic form filler that works here because they're they're, they're a little bit smarter than the average site. And we put a, a little pop-up warning there that just says register or sign in, whatever you're at using CP, which is the copy and paste panel. So we right-click, open the CP on top, and this stays on top no matter what. Right? So this is going to be on top of all the windows. It never goes down no matter what you're clicking and pushing. Right? So we want the email. We want to sign into the email here. password and just to point out you don't need to copy here you just click it it copies it automatically and then you paste it and then you click it and then copies it and it automatically pastes it now I haven't opened up I haven't signed into this email yet at all ever on maybe once before on this browser actually I've signed into this once before on this browser I think about a month ago um, or at least three weeks ago I haven't definitely less than that so um, I'll be damned if it if it's going to make me re-verify with a phone number. So let's just go ahead and log in. And there you have it. God, I thought 
thought I was going to be down there for a second. No. Anyway, so as you can see, we've got a Facebook account connected to this already. And we can go and go to Facebook. I don't know if the account was opened up properly because I'm using an account creator here. So paste and same thing goes for this. It should log us straight in unless it wasn't created. Oh yeah, so there you go, you see this? When was the last time you can just come back to a, a Facebook and Gmail account you haven't opened up in a month? And at least a month or a couple of weeks at least and not have to do any kind of verification. And I've changed passwords since then, right? I mean pr proxies, right? So the browser, we want to sign up to a, uh, a forum, let's say, for example. So what, I mean, this is, a, this is everything that you do in the browser here is what you would normally do in a browser, right? So these buttons, I'm going to use them right now for you, okay? You know what? I'm going to use the whole thing here, the whole, the whole package so you can get a real picture. So let's click on the prospect. Let me close that. Click on the prospector. So this is, I'm in the bodybuilding niche and I want to find somewhere where I can get, get into a conversation, a forum, a forum discussion. So I'm going to like a forum. I'm going to go for a forum. So we type in bodybuilding, bodybuilding, and then we click on the forum footprints, right? And what these are, are footprints, predefined footprints. So you can go and jump into any conversation you want. Um, well, not any, whatever comes back here that's listed in Google, right? So we're looking, oh, hold on a second. So we're looking for V bulletin, let's say. So this is the V bulletin footprint. And then we type in search. And then over here, the window, the results, we should have, we should have the results here in just a moment. And here are the V bulletin blogs. And if you want to check which ones have got the most authority, we just right click and Moz check all, as you can see. Some great authority here, 32 page authority, 34, 30, 27, 37. They've all got decent authority. So any forum that you pick over here, you can go ahead and uh, post to. I mean, it's a great place, you know, if you're in bodybuilding, relating, I'll pump you up.com, bodybuilding forum, hyper muscle. So let's just have a look. Okay, send to browser. Now we're back in the browser. Okay. Now we're going to sign up to this site. And we're going to go and have a conversation with, with someone in there, I guess. So register. And sometimes it doesn't work. Hang on a second. I don't think I have the full profile information here. Hang on a second. I don't have the full profile information. So let me just view profile data. Okay, so this is from an old bug. I imported it and it wasn't importing the email addresses. So because these are all Gmails and I know the usernames are the emails, I didn't bother re-importing them. So everything else is fine and the same. Okay, the date of birth, I just want to set the date of birth. And 1975 and save. Okay, now I don't think that's going to actually save it for the use in this session. So this is a great opportunity to show you that we can close it down and open it back up and we don't have to log into anything. So you see, I just closed down that whole persona with the click of a, I can close this persona down if you want. I mean, just as easily as you can close them, you can open them. So let's open back Wallace. And I will be logged in still, see, logged into Gmail and logged into Facebook as well. You don't have any bookmarks in here yet. So there you go, logged in, right? So now you guys are getting to see the feel of if you're not already using this with multiple personas, which is the whole point of it, you better get off and start doing this. So, prospector, back to the prospector. We were looking for bodybuilding, right? So this is how quick and easy it is. We don't have to type in any other things, just the keyword. Don't worry about the actual long footprints over here. Let's go straight back to V Bulletin and get the same results. And we want to go back to hyper muscles and we want to register for this site it's a totally awesome place to get backlinks relevant if you're in the bodybuilding and muscle niche okay so what you want to do is the first things first is when you get to a site that you need to sign up to you, you type this little head here and should fill out 
most, if not all, of the forms. Okay, so we got the date of birth in at least. So unfortunately, dealing with hundreds and thousands of these profiles, you don't remember what they are. So we CP on top of it. Let, let's just sit there. So the 7th of April and proceed. Okay, I have read and agree. Yes, now the username. Let's try again here. Remember, we see all of this information. We want to fill it out. Okay, so that's worked great. Same username, password, email. How many Olympian titles? One Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know, we'll say one. We'll, we'll have to Google that, I think. How many titles did Arnold Schwarzenegger? Ugh. Try and spell that one, right? Schwarzenegger win. Oh, how many Olympia titles? And do you notice that stay on top? Olympia. Titles did Schwarzenegger win? Ugh, it's 21 to Mr. Olympia. Ugh, you know what? This is so ridiculous. But obviously, you know, this is the kind of site that an automated bot isn't going to get through. So you get a link from here. Look what you have to do to sign up to these sites. I mean, this in itself is an absolute nightmare. They're making me go through freaking Wikipedia and find that. I'm just going to write one. Okay. This is insane already. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll know what the problem is. Okay. Complete registration. Right. So obviously that was the wrong answer. Okay. So funny. Mr. Olympia winner 2012, Phil Heath. Look at this. Jeez, I want to see a bot sign up to that. <laughs> okay. So let's just click those buttons again there. Let's fill that out. Put that there. Now, there is a small chance. If you refer to the it's never running. Okay, that it won't work the registration even with the right answer, and that happens sometimes because I have an invalid birthday. Where's my birthday? Okay, so let's reset all the fields. Let's go back and let's just do this manually. Okay, because sometimes this is what happens. Okay, we'll just do this manually. I don't know what's going on here, but sometimes, as you can see, some of these forums forums get a lot of sp a lot of spam. Okay, so sometimes you can't use the auto form filler because I think it was April the 4th, the 7th, wasn't it? 1976, we'll just, whatever, Ugh, that doesn't matter, proceed. And this is where the CP on top comes in. So if for some reason you experience that using the form filler and it still isn't allowing you, even though you know you've put all the information in correctly, just come back and use CP on top. You CP on top, and that'll bring you here, get you all of the stuff. Mr. Olympia, that was Phil Heath, wasn't it? Back to this guy, Phil Heath. What an ordeal to open up, to sign into a forum, to open up an account in a forum, and complete registration. There you go, okay. Email has been dispatched. How to activate the account. Yes, great. Okay, so there you go. So as you can see, I'm very, I'm quite happy that happened, that it didn't allow me to do it the first time, because sometimes that does happen. If that does happen, please send a support ticket with the URL that that happens to, and we will look into that and make sure that either we put the previous, we put the warning on that says use the CP on top, or we can rework a few things on how it inputs the forms to allow you to sign up using it. Either way, we'll get around it and save you time next time you or any other users want to come back to this site. Okay, so please do that so that, you know, the next time someone or you come back to it, you'll know exactly what you do or don't have to do with these individual sites. So that is the browser and using the prospector to come to the browser. I mean, look, I mean, I'm going to, I don't know how, how, how long have we been on here for? I don't want to make this too long. 14 minutes. I think I'm going to end this video here. And I'm going to go into the in-depth on how to use, yeah, because the RSS has got a whole bunch of other features we've added in. 
and um, I'm going to go into that next over my shoulder and we're going to get into other sessions on really manipulating social media. Um, right now I just want you to just see how, how I use this to sign up to sites and find places to go and get backlinks, right? Because that's the most important, that's the whole point of this. I want you to look at Browsio more of like a hub of information related to your niche and you just need to now go and to go and use that information and promote your site with it. So um, the prospector again, what this should be looked upon as, maybe the name is wrong, I mean it's a bit boring, it, it is a prospector, it finds prospects, place where you can go and get links. But it's not just about the links, you have to understand that these are places where you're going to be having conversations with people. So it's going to be links and it's going to be traffic. Right. And, it, and, and you can get a lot of traffic from these sites without even going and opening up lots of different profiles and manipulating them. You just need to jump into forum conversations and comment conversations like a real person. And they drive traffic, drive backlinks and they drive rankings. And that's a win win for everyone. OK, so I'm going to leave you with that. And um, guys, go and start using the prospector to find places to have conversations where you can drive rankings and traffic at the same time. Okay, talk to you soon. See you in the group.